Now you should be able to hear me. So how's everybody doing? I see we're going to take a few viewers. I don't think that you can hear me good enough. Or if the uh, background music is too loud. I think I will adjust it a little bit. There we go. So uh, let me know, let me know in the chat if the background music is good, or if it's uh, not loud enough, so you cannot hear me. Would be appreciated. I am gonna watch it myself right now, as well. To myself right now, as well. To so. Okay, I think it is good like this. Um, I'm gonna wait a few minutes. Uh, already far up where we left off last time. So I'm gonna continue. Last time we were playing on uh, Alaska. And we'll be continuing today. On there. And we had the Caterpillar truck. this bad boy right here so uh, I think we'll just start and uh, once there are more people we will see that uh, once they arrive okay I'm gonna check the map real quick where do we have to go or what do we want to do today uh, see we have a service convoy uh, so I think that's already a good thing to do last uh, time we uh, got our caterpillar truck from here and delivered it to the sawmill uh, so yeah I'm gonna use it today a little bit to play and the reverse already glides slowly I hope the normal uh, gear is faster than this, so just going forward. I don't know why I see constantly people going uh, away and coming back, but I guess that's fine. Also, make sure to uh, share this live stream with your friends that would be appreciated and uh, let me know how you're doing today have a conversation okay I think I'm just gonna follow the main route that means going straight I already noticed there's a fastest vehicle out there but Maybe all wheel drive will help. So, uh, have you guys already played Snow Runner or not yet? Let me know. And uh, if you played, what do you think about it so far? Good idea to keep all wheel drive on. Obviously. So this vehicle isn't as fast as I was hoping to, but on the other hand, uh, just look at how big it is. I can be mad about that. Also, I saw today there was a hotfix for the uh, for this game on PC. Uh, there were some fi uh, small little fixes uh, which they fixed. Uh, one of which was the G29 steering wheel didn't have any force feedback apparently. Uh, I'm using the Thrustmaster T300 RS. I gotta say I didn't really notice any force feedback too much neither, so I wonder if it's just me or if it's also not working. 
Let's try a shift. No, it's not working still. Damn, I was hoping maybe. Uh, could be shifting now with my eight shifter. This looks like to be the case just yet. So we'll have to wait a little bit more. Uh, yeah, today I worked. So that's the reason why we're streaming a little later than normal. Uh, but it's alright. I think it's also better because uh, I have a lot of viewers from the United States. So uh, hopefully there will be some of which joining the stream later on. Or maybe you are already here. Let me know. Okay, we got a uh, fuel station here. Gonna refuel this bad boy up. I don't know if it was full when we went away on the sawmill, but we have almost one inch left of what we can carry, so let's fill it up. That's a little bit better. Uh, also, today I'm using uh, ultra low latency settings for the for stream, so. Uh, there shouldn't be uh, as big of a delay as, uh, let's say, yesterday or two days before. So, uh, hopefully when I see a question in the chat, you will hear it right after. Uh, I know two days before there was like a 40 second delay or something between um, me and the chat. So, that was a little bit annoying. Still testing out what's the best. Uh, so yeah, if you got any feedback about that, let me know. Also let me know how everyone's doing. What would you say is the best vehicle? Um, I would say so far the Marshall, it's pretty nice, Jack. Um, I haven't played too many vehicles, although the Hummer is also quite nice, but on the other hand I did manage to break the suspension uh, the first time I used it, so yeah I would have to play a bit more with that. Um, yeah it really looks awesome, huh? a little tech, and uh, hello Raphael, how are you doing? I'm doing good, uh, nice of you to ask. Okay so I'm wondering if I should go down the forest. Yeah, I think I should go. Also, let me know about the delay. In the chat, uh, I think it should be really minimal now. If not, then <laughs> I don't know how to fix it because on YouTube it already says now ultra low latency. Oh, I got some damage here. See what they got. Oh, this is actually a truck. Last convoy, it is. Let's get into the uh, area. Go. Oh, wait, why doesn't it show me that? Service convoy. I am Bennett from Alaska Silver Extraction. The service trailer and our convoy is stuck in some deep mud. We are in dire need of uh, help to get it unstuck. We are happy to pay going rates. Okay, so I'm happy I uh, actually brought this caterpillar with me. You're going to how long play today? Well, for me it's already 8 p.m. Um, but I think I might be streaming until 10, maybe even a bit later. Uh, it depends a bit on how much uh fun we have today i got no work tomorrow so i've got quite a bit of time uh, but i'm gonna see how long i will be playing don't really have an uh, ending time might be 10 pm might be 11. all depends a little bit i think it should be better for your american viewers too as it is probably if I have calculated correctly 
should be now 2 p.m. if I'm right. Oh. Uh, let's attach our winch. Okay, so it's out of fuel, uh, which is not a big deal if you ask me. I mean, we don't have to travel too far. Uh, but I'm gonna have to see how we get there because it looks like it's a bit of a dead end. Uh, but we gotta go to the service hub, which is really, really close, so I'm happy about that. Uh, but let's first follow this road, see where we end up. Maybe we can get there really easily. And if I put it in low gear and then diff lock. Also, see, we finally got a high gear unlocked on this truck, so didn't see that yet in this game. Uh, it's probably because it's only available on some trucks, I assume. Uh, but I'm happy to see it on one. Still no uh, gear shift uh, with my uh, shifter after the hot stick, but uh, hopefully that's coming soon. I uh, see we're getting bit by bit more viewers now, so uh, how are you doing everyone? Let me know in the chat. Let's have a talk. <coughs> okay, looks like we've got a road here. And I hope it doesn't end too far away from the service hub. Then that saves me a bit of driving. As this is not the really fastest vehicle in the world, sadly. Although it's quite powerful, so uh, that's not too bad. Also, I think we might get this truck after we uh, finish this. As it's one of those typical missions uh, where to reward you one of those trucks like that. But we'll see after we complete it. Let's check the map real quick. Ah, it looks like we are ending, or at least getting out of this path just beside the uh, service area. So that's quite nice. Here's just some fuel and fine. Well, it's already getting a bit dark, so I'm gonna turn on my uh, lights in my room. Luckily, I can do that through an app. As I got smart lights. That's nice, so I don't have to move. And I'm gonna move one of my glasses of water closer to me. I'm having two glasses of water today. Staying hydrated. A lot was already today here. That was a bit of a bummer. But uh, I worked inside pretty much the whole day anyway, so it's not too big of a deal to me. Okay, let's back it up a bit, this just doesn't have the greatest steering, uh, steering uh, circle. Damn, didn't get onto the words. And there we are. Oh, and it looks like we didn't get to keep the track, uh, but we have... Uh, Following message, service convoy, we certainly ducked out when we met you. Thanks for getting uh, us back on the road. Okay, so that's uh, another $1,200 earned and uh, 180 experience points. That's quite nice. Uh, also, I'm noticing my FPS improved. I'm now running at about 100 FPS. And uh, on the other dreams it was more like 70 60 mm. here's 75 though might be because of the truck I'm not too sure deliver the rich uh, deliver the research zone okay so we already have another objective started um, you know what I'm actually gonna use my other truck for now. What is the uh, 
reward we get for this. We get oh, thirteen hundred dollars and one seven one hundred and seventy. Um, how do you say that? Uh, experience point. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, of course, same thing is happening again with uh, my cursor going back automatically. And I'm gonna use this thing for now a little bit just because it dries a bit faster than the caterpillar. The caterpillar is quite nice though, but uh, it's also slow at the same time. So only if I have to, uh, to heavy objective like carrying a truck and a caterpillar would be nice to have otherwise I can just use the normal truck uh, I would need some fuel first it looks like we're passing that on the way so no worries about that uh, make sure to look in how the uh, audio is though I'm gonna maybe let the live stream run for myself a bit too so I can hear oh, I can already hear it's quite really quiet for me let's turn it down even more turn it down even more. oh I don't know what's happening here but I think this is better or maybe not why aren't we driving Let me see. Does this sound better? I don't know how, but my mic is already um, quiet for some reason. Maybe it's fine. Adjusted on my uh, amplifier, but for some reason, for some reason my wheel isn't working now. I don't know what it is. Hmm. This is weird. Oh, so this works. Uh, but, oh, and this works too, again. Okay, so it was my first little bug, I think. Hello, Daniel, how are you doing? So, let me know if you can hear me, because I have my sound on as well, but for me, it's pretty, pretty quiet. Uh, Hope it's better like this. I am fine. The sound is absolutely okay. Okay. Well, if it's uh, too quiet or too loud, then just let me know. Uh, because uh, yesterday, I think I was listening back to the uh, live stream for a bit, and then I found out I didn't have any. Uh, game sound so that was quite a bummer to find out about that so I'm trying to uh, do it right this time might be also because I have my headset on uh, low volume settings I think that's also one of the issues right now for me not, so, uh, not hearing it too well when I'm listening to it your voice is a bit loud and the game sound is like off. Oh, so I should improve my game sound? I can do that. Uh, maybe like this. Is this any better? 
Now I put it from minus almost 40 decibels to minus 25. And you can also see on my sliders that uh, my voice is quite a bit higher than uh, my desktop audio. But when I put my voice on a lower setting, then if I hear myself back, then it's way louder. A little bit more eventually. Oh, even more game sound. I can do that. So that's plus another uh, 10 decibels. So it's now minus 14.3. About that. Let me know if that is any better. I don't want it to be too loud though. Uh, as you might not be able to hear my voice anymore at some point. When I go too uh, high with my game sound. If you know what I mean. That should be okay for me. I don't know what other guys think. Well, as long as it is hearable, then uh, I'm happy with it as well. And if someone has uh, any suggestions for better settings, then just let me know. As I can't be uh, listening back to myself the whole time. Although I could, but I would go crazy <laughs> hearing myself the whole. Maybe this will also uh, let some more people stay, uh, if they can actually hear me. <laughs> that would be nice as well. So now we're going to the uh, next objective again, which was looking for... We were looking for something. Ah yes, the curtain slide uh, trailer. That was what we were looking for, so we'll see if we can find that and uh, deliver it to its location. My copy of SnowRunner is on its way, should be delivering on Saturday. Daniel, was it the, wasn't it uh, with you first on Thursday, then Friday, and now Saturday? Or am I getting confused with someone else as well? At least I heard at first uh, for one of you guys, it would come at Thursday, and then it was uh, Friday the next day. Don't know if it's for you, as when it gets delayed that much, then <laughs> it's probably going to take a while with some bad luck. Hey, my Streamlabs messages uh, are working as well. Change those bit. No, not. It was Saturday. It was Saturday from the beginning. I was just hoping that it will deliver sooner. Ah, okay. Well, <coughs> damn. Sorry for my cough. Uh, but I understood it, that it got delayed like twice and it would be third time right now. Okay, so. Uh, I know why the Streamlabs bot is sending those messages so short after each other, but I set it up to be more time between. Maybe I should have even more time uh, separated between those. I've got still some tweaks, but uh, we'll get there soon, hopefully. Many people are encountering some pretty bad bugs. Have you had any problems yet? Um, well, for me, the bugs haven't actually been too bad yet. Um, I've so far found a few though. Uh, first off, my H shifter, which isn't working. Uh, luckily, you so I gotta shift in a weird way. My D pad and my uh, either clutch pedal or uh, pedal shifter. And also. When I drive to a garage, uh, I didn't have any pop-ups for uh, entering the garage. I don't know if all of this got 
of that got fixed in a latest hotfix though. And uh, what I also just uh, encountered was uh, I untapped from stream out uh, to change the setting in uh, Streamlabs. And I went back, I was in the same track and I couldn't uh, try. So if I would move my, if I did move my steering wheel, uh, trying to move my wheels, it wouldn't do anything until I switched to, for example, another vehicle and then go back and then it would be fixed. So it was quite weird. Uh, but no, honestly not too many uh, weird bugs so far. I uh, expect it to be worse though. For a launch uh, of a game. So I'm actually quite happy with that. Okay, that's not too bad. I've yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, it could be worse. Just little stuff. I didn't have any game crashes or uh, loss of safe games and stuff like that. Uh, as long as that kind of stuff doesn't happen, I'm happy. Uh, I do want to use my A-shifter though, but uh, sadly I can't change it right now. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. Uh, but if that's really the only thing, then I could easily live with that as long as it gets fixed though, at some point. Do you know worth a buy? Yes, I know the... you mean the YouTube channel, right? I know him. It's a review channel on YouTube. Yes, I saw him. Did he already uh, review Snowburner yet or not? I haven't seen it. But might be already out there though. I saw uh, Scroll. Scroll, Skrull, you know the uh, the guy who plays a lot of Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator. I so saw he made a video, although I didn't bother to check it just yet. He ripped this game to shreds. <laughs> Was it so bad then? As he had so many bugs and everything like that pay to win big fast well it isn't really pay to win right i mean yeah there are dlcs with uh, which are paid with the season pass uh, but those are so far only two trucks uh, the marshall and the navy star if i'm correct i don't know everything else uh, on the top of my head uh, and I got this uh, premium edition, so I got the season pass as well. But I more just got it because I'm just a huge fan. And you know what also is, you can't buy any uh, currency which is in the game uh, with real money. So it can't really be pay to win if I'm being honest. For me it's not bad, but the Marshall it's pretty good if you pay for it. Yeah, the Marshall's pretty nice. Uh, I agree with that. But yeah, I, I guess you can always make some type of game make seem like it's pay to win. Uh, if any, especially if, if they have uh, DLCs. Same thing for American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator. The base game is super small. And uh, once it's getting more fun, then you will need to pay for those expansions. But people aren't complaining about that neither, right? I mean, not as much. Uh, so I think it's a little bit unfair about how people treat it uh, like that. As then you can probably already have way more games uh, which are considered pay to win. I need to have Marshall because I'm a huge fan of the big tires. You always find flaws if you want to. That's true, and that's also my point. Um, people are just, at this point, looking for issues uh, instead of looking at it from the bright side. And uh, I don't think you should do that. I mean, that way you won't make a game better. You only get it worse. And 
Apparently some people just don't get that. Which is sad. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look for a shortcut right here. Because uh, I thought we could get to the other side of the water with a normal road, but I looked not good enough. But I see we already have an easy shortcut found. Uh, so now I gotta go to my right, and then we should get there. Or actually, I can go straight. It's only 40 meters away. I hope I don't get stuck in the snow. Although there are a lot of trees, so I'm not too worried about that. And it's got real. You have been promoted. Nice, I've reached uh, rank 5, or didn't even notice that. I thought it was like 1 or 2. Uh, so, perfect. We'll get. The, we'll gather that data and compile report here. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, the maps are huge. Awesome. So much terrain to drive around. Yes, that's also what's nice. Uh, if you see this region, uh, this is one map. But then you also got Northport, the other part we played on. And you got White Valley. And then even two more. Um, Two more, uh, I guess you can say regions, which you can just drive down a tunnel, it takes you into loading loading screen, and then you're already there. So that's quite nice. It's definitely filled with the gameplay. I'm gonna turn on some other lights on my desk. I just getting quite dark, and also starting to rain just now. So. Uh, I'm happy inside. Nice and warm. Clean snow runner. Uh, but I'll take another step of water. And we'll see if we got any other objectives. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm honestly thinking about switching to uh, White Valley or something. And this one hasn't been really the most interesting map so far, to be honest. What's well, bricks in the river? Oh, no problem, uh, Daniel. And uh, if you got other questions, uh, just make sure to uh, let me know. I will answer them gladly. Uh, I see we have another. Uh, uh, objective here, which is bricks in the river. Here, I need you to help at accident near the river. I was transporting a patch of bricks to a warehouse and they slid off into the water. I need to help, I need help finding and delivering them to their destination. Well, I want to do this one, but I'm actually afraid that those bricks require some sort of train uh not train a, a, tra uh, a crane i'm sorry damn um uh, it also looks like we have to go back to northport for that um so why not and actually do that as i do still want to upgrade this truck as we have for some reason there's no garage at all on this uh map also i don't know if you can hear but uh so I'm starting to, uh, to uh, have a lot of wind outside with rain, so if you hear that in the background, don't worry. I'm in an attic, so uh, it's normal. I will want to go. I a little, little uh, ventilation hole open. Case. So what are you saying, Daniel? I have another question. When you find some upgrades for your truck, 
fresh vehicles can put them on in the, in the garage. Um, yes, if you at least I think uh, if you find those upgrade parts and if you go back to your garage, then you can buy uh, those upgrades and put them on your truck. Uh, I actually haven't equipped too many upgrades yet. So uh, I think I'm actually about to find out soon as well when I am in my garage in Northport. Uh, but if you ask me, then it should be uh, should be able to do so. Also, I hear my microphone is picking up the rain a little. Hope it isn't too annoying so far. Let me know if it is uh, too loud. Some people were talking about leveling up before you can use the upgrades. Hmm, well, it might also uh, be locked behind the level as well, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. As I'm quite curious right now as well. Uh, but I would first need to go back to uh, Northport. So it's actually a good question of yours, Daniel. I will be uh, going back, checking that out. I think this is the delivery point. Or maybe not. So... Is this the... Ah, no, it's the delivery point. So... I don't need to load up anything here. Oh, I was getting confused there. The further discovered, that's quite nice. Uh, we'll find out. By the way, can you tell me uh, if you hear any rain noise on my window? Or if you were hearing, hearing that just a second ago, because I see it's raining less now. But I'm curious if my mic is picking that up or not. I'm using RTX voice though, so it might also get filtered out. If that is the case, that would be quite nice. Uh, but right now you can hear it. At least I can hear. I've heard nothing till now. Oh damn. The I'm telling you man, RTX voice is working really nice. Uh, I didn't expect that. I mean, I'm hearing him through my headset and I see my uh, little slider from my mic uh, go up a little bit even when I'm not talking and I was a bit afraid it would be uh, really annoying during the gameplay but that's pretty nice I don't know if you saw videos about it but uh, I saw videos with freaking leaf blowers right behind the mic and uh, RTX voice filtering it out so Quite impressive how far technology has come these days. If you ask me, of course. Okay, but uh, I think we'll travel back to Newport uh, then. I have thought about starting a YouTube channel on my own, but I need to figure out uh, how. Uh, how to everything works with PS4. Well, I've had a PS4 before and uh, it's not hard at all to uh, upload videos from your PS4 to your YouTube channel. I think it's all integrated. Uh, once you record something with the... Uh, um, how do you say that? With the integrated, uh, integrated share ability of the PS4. So, I have no doubt that would cause any issues. And uh, yeah, if you like making videos, then I strongly encourage you to do it. I mean, the sole reason why I'm doing it is just because uh, I like making videos. So yeah. If you're into that, I can encourage you. So at least maybe give it a try. Don't expect to be... Uh, getting crazy amounts of views right away but yeah after some time of work then uh, that will come as well 
and uh, also don't see it as me bragging or something. Uh, I don't have this view neither. Uh, then I would probably have a lot more people watching right now than uh, five, which is what my uh, stream is telling me now. Uh, although it isn't like uh, I'm not happy with that or something. My wife is motivating as well. <clears throat> she says that I have talent. I guess she has to say that. <laughs> well, if your wife says that, that's pretty nice as well. I mean, it's always worth a shot, right? Well. Okay, we are on our way back to the uh, garage and I think we'll take shortcuts why not I was thinking about uh, refuel refueling this truck but mm, we have about 180 liters left so I think it should be fine I hope at least <laughs> if not then uh, I'm screwed to say the least wrong trees. I hope Koki isn't here who uh, threaten me because I'm uh, using trees in not a good way. You'll make it or use the winch. Well I've already had to use the winch. It's not a good sign is it? At least I don't think. Uh, okay but I was looking for... Why is it disconnecting? I think it was about to bug out like yesterday again. Uh, but it looks like we already have no trees left. Oh damn. I really have one on the right. Yeah, I see the right tree. Uh, for some reason I was only focused on the left ones. <laughs> I completely forgot about looking to the right. No, I got it. I thought the left ones were too far. And that's an archery. Bulky is gonna be mad at me. I know he's watching silently in the corner. Waiting for me until, until until I'm killing more trees to blame me for it. Fortunately, I have a little delay for my phone to chat. I guess. Oh, that's no problem. Uh, I think it should be better than yesterday, though. As I've said, it now to uh, ultra low latency, and before it was the first release day, it was on uh, normal latency. And yesterday on uh, low latency, and now it's on ultra, ultra low latency. So I, I don't know if it's makes, making a difference or not, uh, but we'll see. Also, I hate those trees. I'm texting too much, let me know. Oh, no, 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 it's alright. Uh, I mean, at least someone's talking. It's better than an empty chat, so you won't hear me complain about that. Let's see. Damn. I shouldn't have gone this way. Already wasn't bad. Uh, good decision. As I still have those damned highway tires that just don't seem to like me. I'm happy once I'm at the garage. We're going through this together, kind of. Yeah, it's true. True for sure. And uh, also with five other people who aren't saying too much, or six right now. 
Ah, uh, why are those trees so annoying? I just don't get it. I could easily winch to this one, right? No, apparently I'm just too far from it. You wouldn't say so. Alright, there we go again. Oh, all that's right. Isn't helping much in this situation. Make some noise for the channel, guys. <laughs> yeah, or maybe share this video with your friends. It would be maybe even better. And uh, once we get that, then eventually there will be more people going. I hope so, at least. <laughs> uh, but don't worry, I will be uh, going to be making some new videos uh, this weekend. Uh, so then it should become a little bit more active again, uh, because live streams are really dependent on the moment itself and if uh, everyone's available or not. And uh, with uh, videos that is a little bit less of an issue. But I was actually thinking about uh, checking out the new Mac trucks uh, in American Truck Simulator and uh, maybe making first impressions or my top five things or whatever uh, bugs uh, I want to see get fixed in SnowRunner. Make a bit of a video like that. Maybe even check out some uh, mods. I, I saw there was some kind of octopus on uh, mod.io so I think making videos like that would also greatly help unfortunately I'm not that active on Facebook or Instagram um, well I was more talking about like how you not like uh, sharing it with your friends well, it's not a big deal if you don't share it Oh, I see how you meant it. It's alright though, uh, I myself am also not that active on social media. I'm rather the person who watches stuff. <laughs> Except on YouTube, then I make stuff, but uh, if it's Instagram or something like that, then it's only those birthday pictures and Stuff like that every once in a while, you know. And for the rest, I don't really care about it. But I think most gamers are like that, so it's no big deal. I know the feeling. Okay, I think we should be getting pretty close to our garage again. Yes, I can already see it. Do I watch YouTube all day at work? One well, reason for me to get YouTube Plus. <laughs> well, what kind of work do you do then? Do you don't have to work then? I mean, I'm working in a shop, and I'll, when I'm working, <laughs> I can't really watch YouTube videos. Or my colleagues will start to yell at me for watching videos. So. Meet one for your work. Uh, although I see we now have a button to get into the garage. But I think this side was okay. And once we're going to the other side, that there was no button to enter the garage. I should check that right now. On my way. Maybe they fix it. No, and this is red as well, so... Oh, I see. Does it really work like this? So this is an exit. And the front is an entry. So you can only exit through there and not enter. Hmm, if that is the case, it would be really realistic. Um, <laughs> I haven't noticed that until now. So that's quite funny, if that's actually the case. 
I'm working for a mobile company in Germany. It's a home office job. Uh, and I can pretty much work and watch videos at the same time. We are porting phone numbers from one provider to another. Oh, okay, like that. Oh, uh, yeah, then you can easily watch uh, YouTube at the same time. I get it. Um, okay, so we are back in uh, Northport. So, I think uh, first thing we are going to do is going to upgrade these damn wheels on this truck. Uh, or these tires. And we are going for... I was hoping to have unlocked all terrain by now. Uh, this doesn't look like that's the case just yet. Damn. This is a bummer. I was really hoping for that. Now what's the X1 engine? Or... It says X1. Is that the price or what? A fine-tuned version of the popular boarding system. Uh-uh-uh. Brings up the fuel consumption. A little. And it improves the durability and power to weight. Or I could spend 3000 on another version. consumes less fuel I think it I think I really have to sort out which mission I'll do first there's so many mission I like that well you probably will end up first playing the easy missions uh, because you need to uh, get you need to get uh, attachments for more uh, complex missions uh, then I think I will leave the engine alone, or maybe I should upgrade it. I'm not sure. I was hoping to uh, get some other tires, as the mid performance is really poor. Uh, which you can really notice. And the other ones don't really have anything. But I don't have these all-terrain ones. Oh, that sucks. I was hoping I had at least one of them unlocked. Uh, I'm not going for a spare wheel, neither. Got a flatbed now. And see if we maybe got something like a grain we can attach. I can attach a grain, and then we could go for something like. Uh, Containers in the river. Why not? I'm just gonna go for it. Um, here's snorkel. Useful as well. Let's go for that. Then we go and go through deep water. And uh, while I'm at it, I also can get another. Oh. To have a little bit more powerful engine now, although it has a worse fuel consumption. I think I should leave it like this. Fortunately, I have to leave again. A friend asked me to play some really dangerous within. You know this game? No, I didn't. don't know that game, but uh, it's alright. Have fun. And uh, maybe I will see you later. I'll continue to uh, keep on streaming for maybe an hour or so. I'll have to see. So, do we have other exhaust options? This is what we have now. And we can get this. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I've got the money for it. I can do it.
Mm -mm. Let me see. So not too much special miscellaneous. Oh, there's a nice front bumper. Uh, although I don't think it adds anything. But it's quite cheap, so why not? Um, shears and visor as well. I have some fun as well, my friend. Uh, I'm always looking forward to your videos. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, I will see you soon then. Okay, I think we should be uh, good to go. Also, want to change up the uh, paint for the for once. See you later, Daniel. So let's get uh, out of this garage. We have a crane now, along with a flatbed, and uh, let me check where it was. We had one, with, which was containers in the river. Put some lights in the roof, help a lot in night. Well, Raphael, maybe that's actually not too bad of a of an, uh, suggestion. I would. I'm going into the garage again. Buy some extra lights. Uh, I think. It's not a bad of an idea. Move to garage, customize, and uh, wait. Uh, I think it was a miscellaneous. Yes, it was. Uh, so I'm thinking about just beacons like this, double tall beacons. I think that should be good. Uh, this would help as well, but it's only for the front. If I see that, all right. I would rather wait for this one then, but oh damn, that's already rank 22. I'm gonna go with tall beacons for now. Uh, see if those help. And maybe some chrome parking lights too. So that's some extra lights on there. I think that should be good. Okay, so they're also on during the day. That's quite nice. So now we are look, really looking like a professional work truck. Got everything we need. Uh, but I was looking for containers in the river. This one. Yes, I know. Green is recommended, which I have right now as well. And why don't you show me? Oh, I think it won't show me. If I remember correctly. It was right here. If I remember correctly. I think it was. Let me take a look. It's not too far. Maybe I should also be a bit more conservative with my fuel as this engine has uh, worse fuel consumption. Not being too big of a difference yet, but uh, I think we'll feel that soon enough. Because it looks pretty cool like this. I'll take a screenshot real quick. There we go. Always handy for thumbnails and stuff like that. Still think they should add a uh, screenshot manager. They already played in multiplayer. No, I haven't played in uh, Go or multiplayer yet. 
12 single player for me. But you'll also probably be the, the most I will be spending in this time uh, in this game. Funnily enough. I do have a friend uh, I want to play with though. But he is right now, he works on a ship, so he isn't home not right now for a few months. Uh, but as soon as he's back, then we'll play and maybe even make videos together. Uh, but let me see, I think this was the spot for the containers, or maybe not. Hmm, I thought it was here. Then it might be somewhere else. Oh, I hate that. Uh, let me see, let me see. I remember seeing containers. Although now I'm I don't know anymore. Ah, it doesn't show the cargo on the map. Also sucks. If you're still playing when I back from job, we can play together. Uh, how long are you uh, still working for? I'm gonna see if I can find those damned containers. Ah, uh, but I really thought it was here though, so... I don't know where those went. Oh, I can do that though. Lost tubes were last time I checked here, I think. Let's take a look there. See if you can find them. Start tracking. Uh, Raphael, if you can let me know how long you're still working for. Uh, as I don't know if I will be still there uh, by that time. I'm probably maybe streaming for about another hour or so. And then it's already 10 p.m. here. Uh, but I will have to see how long I actually keep on playing. Also, the helps help a little, uh, the lights help a little bit in the dark, but uh, it's not like a huge difference, though. water gotta keep on driving 
here is 16 p.m. I will work until 18. Well, I'm afraid I will be uh, already stopped playing uh, this game by then. I don't know if you have to work tomorrow, but uh, tomorrow I'm all day free. Should be pretty close to uh, the upgrade part and the location I think our pipes are. I don't know if they got moved though, as uh, I also thought the uh, containers for the location just went to, but disappeared apparently. Okay, so tomorrow we can play. Uh, I don't know if you have me already on Steam or whatever. But if you want, you can add me on there. I think it'll be in the description. And uh, then we'll probably talk tomorrow a bit through messages, Steam chat. And then we can see uh, what at uh, what time is best. Today we'll search for a very good truck. Is it already in the game? Or is it not? It's just a mod or something. Oh damn. Oh no. And I stalled it. Great. <laughs> um that's not great. That's great. Now stop tracking that. Uh let's go back to the uh garage then. You know what? The last few episodes we have been playing quite a bit on uh Alaska, and we barely played on uh, on how do you say it um, on Michigan or uh, Tamir, not at all. I think we should play one of those. So, what do you want to see? Do you want to see Tamir or? Uh, Alaska, oh, or Michigan, sorry. Oh, it's located in Alaska. I didn't have to pay the bay just yet. Um, but I think I'm like switching to one of those. Oh, wait, I can also see if they're good. Oh, okay, so it's True in Mountain River, there are no garages. So let me know, uh, Tamir or Michigan? Which one should I play? I already played a bit of Michigan, starting. But then I moved on to uh, Alaska pretty quickly and didn't play on Tamir at all. I think I'll go for Tamir. Oh, <laughs> actually just, you say, Michigan. Well, I will go for Michigan then. Uh, we can continue there. That's no problem. So, I guess, oh wait, this was one of the trucks which was stuck, right? Because of some important, important upgrade. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, yeah, this one was stuck, I think. Let's see if we can get through this. <clears throat> Come on, 
wallet truck through the map. Maybe if I use this like that. There we go. Okay, I don't know why I abandoned the struck sign uh, at the beginning of the plane, but I think it was because I just started. I didn't really know what I was doing yet, even though I played Spit Irish and Metrunner to death. <laughs> That's right. Uh, let's see, what's the best option? Okay, so if I go straight. Or wait, we can go straight to the left. Then I just have to go straight through that forest. I don't think we'll be able to do that. Let's go to the left and hope it brings us to that road for the watchtower. Also, what? Uh, oh, I set my. I did set my uh, waypoint to the garage. This map has one stuck truck without fuel, you can rescue it to the garage and sell it because it's useless. Oh, do I have it already on my map or not yet? Jet. Okay. Uh, don't be stuck in here now. Let's see. Why can't we go further? I think we're too wide for this opening. Let me see, is there another option? I hate this truck already because it doesn't have all-wheel drive. <laughs> it's not too great. Oh, of course, it also breaks the winch directly. So I think I'm just better off going back and then take the right road from the beginning instead of going through the forest with this thing. As I doubt it's gonna end well when we're doing that. Oh, of course. I forgot to uh, not detach my winch. One of these upgrades are the all-wheel drive for this truck. Ah, okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, it could be a pretty handy truck, but right now it's not that nice. Ah, okay, so we are gonna look for the all-wheel drive on this truck for sure then. As that's one thing I do want for this. To make this a little bit better.
Ah, let's see. Okay, if I go, if I go a little bit further and then to the right, and then take another right, we should be there. And I think I also see the watchtower already. So I recommend first reach all watchtowers with Silverado first. Yeah, I will get the, this watchtower with this truck uh, first because we're already close by. And then I'll go and see what kind of vehicles I have uh, available. And then choose something better than this. Oh, that's nice. Low fuel consumption. This is also great at off-roading. Get a better winch point. Also getting low on fuel with this truck, so gotta watch out. Oh, I don't know why I can't select. Oh, I, so I guess that's another bug. <laughs> I couldn't select uh, the winch points for a second. It was quite weird. And there it recognized my uh, gas pedal being pressed in. Well, I wasn't. So now the bugs start to appear a bit more. Put in low. Okay, so I don't think this was a smart choice. Um, Let's maybe rather recover this thing to the garages. I don't think we'll get far with this. Um, but check for another truck is that. Uh, can't we enter this? Oh. Well. Let's exit the garage then with this one. Where's the fleet star? Should be here. You can find the scouts with diff lock. Oh, um, I'll first get something better than this though. And then I'll look for that. Where is that truck? There it is. Oh, also a great part. Feed star. Get upgrade. Engageable all wheel drive for the fleet star. Is it this one? No, it's for the other one. Okay, that's quite nice. Uh, can I drive the other truck? Oh, you see it's now starting to bug out a bit. There we go. That's completely out of fuel. I'll stow it to a fuel station then. There was fuel on here, right? I think there was. Okay. 
Oh, not that great, which I did right there, but we're on the garage side, so I don't really care about it too much. Uh, so this is a trailer store, is this not a... Uh, is there no fuel station here? <laughs> this looks like it. Then we'll just drive into the garage area. Oh, there we go again. More damage, of course. Yeah, they also unlock these trucks, uh, traders. Already got the boots. That's quite a bit of a mess here already. I just want to discover these traders. Didn't show. We discovered that. <laughs> Alright. I guess so. So if I move the garage, do we both go there? No, it doesn't take the feet star with me. There we go. Um so this has engageable all-wheel drive, I thought. All-wheel drive, engageable all-wheel drive, and locked. Um, so I'm going to use this truck for going to the first part of the map, at least I think, or maybe first go to this watchtower, as it's super close by. our base how do you transfer vehicles to the other map um, if you go to the uh, garage let me show you I'm gonna show you right now I take this truck and uh, I drive to my garage Enter, like this, and I select uh, square, in my case, uh, to retain it. Then it's in my truck storage, and once I go to another uh, map, I can choose it from there. Uh, but I'm going to get it back, as I'm going to use it on this map. I hope that answers your question. Come on, remove this freaking waypoint now. There we go. Okay, let's go to that uh, watchtower. But uh, Jason, that should be it, which I just showed. Go to the left. Oh, thank you, man. No problem. Health for review. I don't know, but uh, it's just a normal uh, reaction. Hey, motorbiker, you are there as well. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well. Happy to see. It. Say my copy is out of delivery. Can't wait. Really enjoying your stream. Thank you. So, when is getting delivered? Tomorrow or something, I assume then? Or earlier on? Uh, 
says there is a path to the left a bit, although not really. It looked like like bad for a second with the branches on the ground there. But that's not the case. Got confused for a bit. So, uh, <coughs> oh, today, that's pretty nice. Um, so we actually are playing on Michigan today, motorbiker. Uh, I was a bit bored of playing uh, to play on Alaska the whole time. So we are on Michigan now, getting upgrades, and uh, of course doing the maps and the objectives. I'll take a left here. Start with the first person. Or maybe not. First person is nice. But you can just see so much more around your vehicle. Third person. trucks are already a bit uh, way more powerful than the uh, other truck we had on this map though. That's quite nice. Oh, and of course there's a rock in the way. Again, those rocks. Let's see if we can get over it now. No, maybe enable diff lock. Uh, I see there is a tree right there. There we go. Got out of that pretty easily. I'm gonna drive in automatic again. Looks like to be working fine in most scenario for me. Automatic. Okay. You know what I like about Michigan? You have uh, these mountains here, which you don't really have in uh, Alaska, or at least not. Uh, it's not the same as uh, driving in snow as compared to this. I would say, if I had to choose, I think I would prefer this a little bit more. So that's quite nice. But it uh, looks like we found our first watchtower of the stream. Let's launch the uh, observation. Alright, so there's our garage. And we discovered a new upgrade location, probably a lot more. Uh, let's see where we go next though. I think I would go back for this one. Yeah, and before I do that, I go first to our upgrade location and then move on to this. So like that. I think that's a good plan. Uh, so I should turn around. This one you just can reach with better off-road vehicles. You mean uh, the uh, watchtower we have set, you have sort of waypoints to next? 
If so, then I maybe should hold on to. Uh... Yeah, okay. Maybe I should hold on to going to that one then. Uh, first, go for another truck. Um, once we get the upgrade part, we can go to that one then. See if that is a bit doable with a bit less mud. And hopefully we also find uh, a truck, uh, or at least a, a more frozen capable vehicle. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. Take a sip of water. Almost ran into a tree right there. Gotta take it slowly here before we jump all over the place. I must say the audio in this game is so surprisingly good. All those little engine noises and breaking of that. Really nice. Uh, let's go to the right. Also I see a uh, sort of a little farm right here. Pretty cool. I gotta say, I really appreciate the attention to detail they've put into this game. And uh, let's take a left here. Then we should come at our upgrade part soon. And get the upgrade. Race is now available. I don't know for which truck it was. The only thing I don't like in the game is the sport of steering wheel, like G27 or G29. Um, yes, uh, that's true. Uh, I'm also playing with a steering wheel, by the way, right now. Playing with the Thrustmaster T3 and RS. And it's working pretty well so far. Only main things I uh, have my gripes about uh, with the steering wheel is I can't use my H shifter yet. Um, and I uh, um, I can't move my thermal with the steering wheel with the D-pad. So I get left and right on the D-pad, which do nothing. And normally I would like to have those uh, being able to look around with around your vehicle uh, that looks like yeah but because of all of the covid and corona uh, issues uh, they said on your blog that um, that those would be added later on I think I'm about taking a left and then taking a right, hoping to end there. So I think I'm gonna go that that way. And what uh, do the signs say? Say warehouse and a gas station. Well, I don't mind some gas, so let me go this way. If I don't get stuck. I don't know, what did I do? 
Oh, I'm not getting stuck here. That's gonna be a real bummer. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and back up. Oh, of course. We should maybe try and go a bit closer to the trees. If I get out of this. Ah, oh, damn. What did I do? not my day today. Let's uh, recover. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Recover. Yes. Be courage. Yes. Okay. Let's give it another try. This time go a bit close to the trees. I'm going to go to the left, I think. Or uh, I saw you said right. Uh, Raphael, did you mean going the right way? I mean, I can go right as well. Let's do that. I mean, why not? We're still exploring anyway. Okay. So maybe it was a good thing I got stuck then. I'm gonna stay close to these poles. And I think we could use them to winch. Yes, we can. I like that about this game as well. That you can use the poles to winch yourself. Nice and smooth so far. This is gonna be annoying. <laughs> is there a winch point to our left? I guess I have to just hope that this is gonna work then. How the hell did I manage to do this? Sometimes I just get surprised by my own dumb mistakes. Ah, looks like I'm getting out of it, though, luckily. Although we're close to getting stuck again. For a second right there. some grip. Let's get out of this mess. There we go. And something says I should go to the left now. So let's do that. Oh, 
come on. I hope this isn't some hardcore off-road trail. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't have the right vehicle for this. This watchtower, our important one. I'm going to see why. Okay, I'm, I'm curious. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it for me. <laughs> I want to get there. How long do I have to go still? 200 meters. A little more. That's right. And let's take a left then. Also, I shouldn't forget to take my screenshots. Those are also important. Still wanting a screenshot manager for this game. Hey, there's another objective. What does it say? King of the Hill, you have been busy lately. Uh, why not take some time out to enjoy local country? I've marked a couple of locations on your map that are fantastic views. Be sure to check them out. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, I'll try to uh, get to them. I think that we will also have to go this way for the watchtower. So then I can already do a bit of my objective at the same time. That's nice. I like that. Like off road trail, not made for this truck. That's alright. Right now, we're quite light because we don't have any uh, attachments attached. Oh, and here's already our watch number. Although I can't get there just yet. Real off-road adventure right here. It's a totally not supposed to be off-roading vehicle. But <laughs> no, then I had to a little bit there. But that's what's, make, uh, what's making it fun. Okay. Come on, don't fall down this. Don't do it me now. Oh no, I managed to mess this up right here. Oh damn. No, how could I do this? Oh no. This is such a bummer. Oh, I, I was so close, but so far away as well. God damn it. Um, you know what? I still got the Marshall on the other track, uh, on the other map, or the Hummer. I'm gonna recover this one. And we at least know now uh, there is... There is uh, an easy way to get there. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is going to go to Alaska real quick. Uh, get into that garage. Store the uh, hammer in vehicle storage. If we have it here still. Oh, 
It's on the map. It wasn't doing too much anyway. Uh, so, retain that. Go back to Michigan. Uh, enter our garage. Then uh, get the armor out here. Truck storage. There we go. Leaf storage. This should be better. Especially for floating. And uh, I'll actually take the Naughty Trail this time. Oh. That's the normal way. And... Hopefully it should be a bit easier then. I like the sound of this uh, number. That's right, the level V8. Nice interior view as well. Oh, getting through this, no problems at all. There we go. It's going much easier. This shouldn't be. Hard at all. Piece of cake. Let's go this way again. Nice little shortcut. Even the suspension is quick little when steering first person. Crazy how much attention to detail there is. Uh, so now I am going not to the left, it's going straight. So I don't have to uh, redo that whole trail. Either glass extra, now it's just straightforward. What does it say here? Warehouse. Uh, well, I'm just gonna go straight. I don't see a warehouse yet. Oh, there it is. I'm not gonna go straight first. going the right way I think we are yes we are I'll swap my glasses with water already one's empty yeah it's pretty almost 10 p.m. already time goes fast Telling. time's really flying when I'm playing this game Take a left here. Another left. And then the next left we have. Gotta turn into that as well. Well, I love this. Uh, this 
this landscape right here. But I'll say Michigan is so far my favorite. What is here? Uh, it looks like there was something there. Uh, oh, this is a bummer. It looks like we could get there this way. Uh, maybe. Oh, wait, we could. Damn, I just missed it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's turn hunt then. I know how I could have missed that, but I think I just didn't notice. There it is. I think I see what I missed. Yes, this was a little sneaky bit. So we discovered another watch point, a uh, watchtower, and it was a one that was important, uh, as Raphael was telling me. So let's uh, see that. Aha. So I can already see why it's quite important. Because there are some uh, constructions. The roadblocks. I see. Oh, why is this not going away? I want to actually go for this one. Looks like I have to go back for that though. I don't know, should I go for this? Why not? So I go back to the right and then first one to the left. Oh. Music is getting a bit, bit louder now, a bit more intense. Don't know if that means anything. But uh, is it important because it shows us uh, that roadblock and the uh, bridge that has to be built, Raphael? Is that some other reason which I didn't see then? Okay. I should go to the left. The warehouse can be used for this roadblock. Oh, that's smart. So actually it's not that far driving then from the warehouse to... Oh. Roadblox. Oh no, why did I? God damn it. Why did I roll over? That wasn't a smart idea. Do you need for the mountain bridge though? Uh uh uh.
metal planks, which come from there, and concrete. And those roadblocks. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, I think, I think, I will go back to the garage, not go for this one as we need a better off-road vehicle for that. Damn, this map is hard to make decisions on. I actually want to go for this one and this one. So I think I'm gonna go back to the garage and explore a bit more. Has anyone been able been to a mountain river yet? How do you gain access to it? I don't think I have. Oh yes, I have. I'm to Mount. I'm in Mountain River. Um, uh, the way I did it, I was in Northport, and there is one tunnel, uh, which you can just uh, use to go to it. I don't know if there were any uh, requ requirements before you could go. Didn't pay too much attention to that. But I have been there. I've played quite a bit on it, actually. Um, and I think I'm gonna go take a bit of other way this time. Take a left and then go for that road. And maybe even go to that side uh, but I'll have to see about that how uh, exactly I'm going to do that uh, but yes man, man uh, I have been there it's also the main way how I understand to go to uh, different regions on this game for those tunnels, which you find on the sides of the map. Let's take it easy right in here with these rocks. Don't want to wreck my whole suspension. There's a gas station. That's nice. Oh, so there's actually a new mission here. What does it say? Missing oil tank. Got a spot of trouble here, pal. We have an oil tank trader that's missing. Pretty sure. It got washed off the road somewhere and it's probably stuck in a swamp by now. How about lending a hand? Sure, if I can find it, I will deliver it gladly. I haven't seen it yet though, I think. It's gonna already fill up our truck, that's the question. Oh, yes, we can. I thought maybe you first had to find that trader and then you could refill. It's nice that you don't uh, 
need to absolutely do that before you can refill yourself. Okay, a little bit further on, you'll be able to go to the left. So, to the left right here. See, stick a right. Oh, I don't hope we get stuck in some mud. That doesn't look like it. Just deep mud. Hey. Our trailer thing for is this a trailer? Uh, you need it for for that um, station. I don't know if we can carry it, but it's worth a try. I doubt we can though. Can I actually touch it? Oh, I already fought. <laughs> oh, it's another trailer? Oh, I thought it was maybe for the fuel station. So pretty good to know though, there's a trailer here. You never know when you might need one. here keep on moving okay follow this road uh, although I see upgrade part should I Take a look. Uh, it looks a bit swampy, I don't want to get stuck. I'll leave that for another time. Up this hill. So I see electrical lines here. Which way do we have to go? Looks like we gotta go up. I don't I don't know if there's a passage. Looks like there isn't. Yeah. 
let's take a look at the map. Uh, so actually, yeah, I can go this way to the right. Then we're on the road again, and then we should take a left here. We can do that. Uh, if I can, of course, turn into that. I'll drive past it. There we go. To right here. And uh, I think after we have done that watch tower, I uh, will take a break. Stop for the day as it's already uh, 10 pm here. Maybe we could do, could do a little bit more if we uh, have something short. But I am not planning to do a whole lot after that. Just to be sure. Just what I thought. If I go to the left, I should be able to get there. Try to get you onto the wrong foot with the type of trails. Which is nice because it keeps you active. And uh, not make you drive like a sick man everywhere without looking at the map. Can we get past this? I hope we can. Okay, so not really how you're supposed to get there, but look, we've made it. Okay, quite cool. Upgrade location discovered. What's this? Chevrolet. Is this the... Um the uh, scout vehicle you you meant, Raphael, or is it another one? And here's the missing oil tank. Well, while we're here, I can take a look. Oh, it looks like to be a truck, though. So not a scout vehicle. Um, I will just go to this one then. Where should I go? Let me take a look. To the left. Actually more like a thread. This is also some sort of trailer park. Ooh, I see a digger. Can we use this? Better can. At least I hope. Oh, doesn't look like it. Pretty sweet though. Look. Doesn't look like we can use it, but uh, I was hoping deep inside 
maybe we could. What's this little platform? Looks like a loading area. These look like containers or something. Oh. Okay. It's a little few houses here, it looks like. Not too much special going on. Oh, and I can already see our uh, watch point we're looking for. So we're going to look for a mountain. But I think if I follow this road, I will get there. Oh, that's my engine. I also like that this truck has uh, low power consumption, always nice, makes a great exploring vehicle. Let's go this way. on the rocks. Starting to wonder if I'm going to right way. Uh, it looks like we are. And a shortcut on the left. Is it? think this. Yes. Not really a road, but uh, what did you expect from SnowRunner, to be honest? Not much more right. At least I didn't. Let's take a left here. And then we should be there. Okay. Go local entertainment. Oh, okay, quite dark already, but uh, quite nice. Take a look at the map. I wonder what local entertainment is. Can I already read local entertainment? It says. The works in a nearby factory of little game. There are multiple barrels hidden. In some hard to reach places, you have to knock them down so far. No one has mentioned it all of them. I think you can do it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, although, even though we unlocked quite a few new things today, uh, I think I'm going to leave it uh, at, it, at this for now. Um, it's already, let's see, 12 past 10 here. That's quite late here. And um, we're also already be streaming for about 2 hours and 15 minutes. So, uh, I think it's a great time to make an end to this. And uh, thank you for watching. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, make sure to leave a dislike. Also, make sure to subscribe for more streams and videos like this. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all in the next stream. I did you already complete a mission called Essentials. Uh, Wouter, I didn't as far as I know, but I'm about to end the stream right now. 
Yes, I'm Dutch, uh, but I have my channel in English. But actually, I'm going to end it right now. I've already been streaming for about two hours. Uh, I might stream tomorrow again, but I have to uh, see at what time I will do so. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Yes, or the truck. Oh, you mean, um, let me see. This truck. That, that is that, uh, that is that, uh, scout vehicle. Well, next time I'll take a look at it. Uh, right now I'm gonna end it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.